Fremantle residents take looking after their Kiwi neighbours very seriously. So much so that they're even educating their own dogs on how to look after their feathered locals. Let's find out what Kiwi avoidance training is all about. Richard, how do you avert the dogs from the kiwi? With a short, sharp shot from the electric dog collar. Um, yeah, they're a standardised method for training dogs. Farmers use them, dog behaviourists use them, lots of people use them. So as soon as they see that kiwi, will react to that kiwi? Yeah, as soon as they show interest, um, yeah, we'll give them one short, sharp shot. It's not too hard. Um, You're going to show it for yeah. us? Watch my thumb. Okay. Whoa! Yes. Did that hurt? Uh, a little bit. Oh, you're a tough man. Yeah, but that's all the dogs are getting, so it didn't make me jump like the dogs jump. <laughs> These dogs are working dogs. Yeah, they work for the government. They got a job five days a week. Yeah, canine um, rangers. Canine rangers, I suppose you could call them. And we just want to make sure that we're not putting dogs out there that are going to be a danger to any other wildlife. These are the props we use for the training. You got the stuffed kiwi and some rather unfortunate ones here that were killed by a dog. And that, that's for the smell, for a realistic smell. And we got the plywood cut out here for a bit of movement. And is it just kiwi that that you're trying to keep the dogs off or? Um, no, we use Pateki. Great Barrier Island, all the hunters here must go through Pateki avoidance training. Kiwi, they smell pretty good, don't they? They smell pretty good, yep. Yeah. It's got a very strong aroma in the bush, and yeah, a dog would, if there was a kiwi around, a dog would be interested in checking it out. And, and its movement, usually if your ki kiwi's flushed, it'll run. And it's a dog, dog's natural instinct to chase. And how often do the dogs have to go through this training for them to be, you know, okay in the bush? Well, every year they have to come back just for a, a retest. And so is it just hunting dogs and dock hunting dogs that, are, that go through the, the process? No, no, any dog. I, I feel it's important that we preserve the kiwis. That's, that's what it's all about, you know? And um, Chanel, she's not a hunting dog? No, she's not a hunting dog, no. no. She only hunts her food when I give it to her in the morning <laughs> or night time, yeah. yeah. And uh, how did Chanel go just here now today? Oh, good, really good. She gave a nice wide skirt and mound, you know. It's been really good. So uh, as a local, you're pretty proud that she's... Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely really proud. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's a good girl. You can't hunt a lot of places unless you've done the training. A lot of helicopter pilots won't take a dog into, into a hunting area unless they've got the certificate, a current certificate. Really good to know that something so short and quick can be effective long term. It's unlikely that we'll see a Walt Disney movie about the friendship between a dog and a kiwi anytime soon, but we will see more and more training programs like this one popping up around the country so that man's best friend and our kiwi can safely coexist.